So we recently invested in some uh, gym gear, actually, uh, gym equipment and whatnot, squat rack, a few weights, and it's been a game changer, an absolute blessing to our lives. Uh, we were looking into different gym memberships, and we decided just pull the trigger on some equipment, do it in the home, save yourself money over the next 10 years rather than paying to go somewhere else, and it helps with time so much you don't have to travel to actually get a workout in uh, you do have to rethink some of your past exercise practices though so all you 30 year old dads out there who've been out of the lifting game for a while pay attention <laughs> because you're you're not going to be putting up the numbers that you were back in college not right away and i think the name of the game is safety first honestly oh bumping the table so when you're there in the gym you're thinking oh i i can deadlift a truck it's really no problem no you can't no you can't you've been chasing toddlers around this whole time you you think those those push-ups and those pull-ups that you were doing regularly to kind of maintain where you were were uh, maintaining your your huge gains from a decade ago not really uh, they kept you fit, but you're not where you were. And when you get that gym equipment, when you get the opportunity to go lift again, maybe you get a gym membership, it doesn't matter. You get back in there, you got to go easy, okay? You got to take your time. And remember those beginner gains, that, that phase of time? Remember, you're probably not going to have beginner gains like you had back then. But you have to remember the process of, of building up your strength again. It's, it's not going to go right back to lifting a truck. You are, you're going to start with the bar. <laughs> and then you're going to add 10 pounds. And then you're going to get to a full plate. And a few weeks later, you're going to be very impressed with where you are. But it's going to be a process of building up. And if you do it right, if you're focusing on your form the whole time, do... Let me start over. What I'm doing right now is a very simple 5x5. Five five, you could call it the starting strength program. Um, very, very simple. Five sets, five reps. I, I don't know um, how many reps in reserve. Two or three, maybe. I mean, like a, a rate of perceived exertion, probably like a seven or eight. You know, it, it, fairly intense, but not back-breaking, one rep maxes. No, 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 no. I'm focusing on, on my cues for each lift so that you are doing it right. <laughs> so next week, you can come back and do it again and add five pounds to the bar, or add ten pounds, add another plate if you're ambitious and you can actually do it and not hurt yourself. Uh, this is week three of working out at home and it's an absolute game changer i completely forgot how efficient a weight set is for working out squats have been a, a rediscovered love there's it's um doing body weight squats doing like a, a prison workout what is that book called monkey strength is really good by the uh, vegetable police. But uh, there's another one with prison workouts that I can't, I can't remember the title of. You can get a lot of progress doing body weight stuff, doing calisthenics, absolutely. But when you put a bar on your back and you squat, for me it feels like my whole body gets nuked. I get a, a more efficient workout with barbell training. And no hate on calisthenics. You can actually be absolutely get jacked and strong and awesome. That's awesome. But for me, I, I like barbells. And the last three weeks have been eye-opening. Eye-opening. I feel like I've rediscovered myself in a lot of ways. I'm calmer. I'm, I'm more collected. I'm handling stress better. I'm definitely stronger. My legs are filling out a lot. A lot better than just doing pistol squats. And pistol squats are amazing. You should absolutely do them. But um, uh, my back is getting a lot thicker. Not only in width, but in depth. 
and uh, my erector spinet, my, um, oh, what do you call it? My whole back is getting stronger. Let's put it that way. <laughs> and I, I would highly recommend it. If you can get a gym membership, if you can buy some gym gear for yourself, get that in your home and dedicate just a, a few hours a week just to get in there. It will completely change your disposition and really, really help you. Uh, Health-wise, did you know that leg strength is correlated to longevity with your lifespan? So is grip strength? That's very fascinating to me. And people who play racket sports tend to have a, uh, a high correlation to long lifespans. My wife taught me that. That's kind of interesting. Um, so what I'm doing right now, like I said, the 5x5 five five starting strength program. Mm, treat me good. On Mondays, I'm doing chest and legs. So that's going really well. And then on Wednesdays, I'm doing um, pole and deadlifts. So it's like a, like a back day. I'll put it that way. So you have like pushing legs and then a pole day. And it's... It's going great. I kind of throw shoulders in there. It really just depends. I've, it's been three weeks, right? So I can't exactly give crazy advice. But um, sometimes I'll do it on a Monday, shoulders. Sometimes I do it on the back day. Something about doing shoulders and back on the same day just feels good. You know, it's like you, you got your back all tight from pull-ups and deadlifts and rows. And then you do some shoulder press. And... Yeah, I don't know. It feels like they, they complement each other really well. Maybe it's because of the stability your lats provide with the push. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm doing it all wrong. Maybe not. But it's working out. And like I said, that mental clarity that comes from a regular lifting schedule is huge. Uh, 10 out of 10. Would highly recommend a home gym. What does this mean in the future if we move from here? We're renting this house, right? So we're probably going to have to keep renting because we're not in the buyer's market right now or in the foreseeable two decades. Uh, and if we move back to apartments, what do we do with the gym equipment? That's a fair question. Um, we'd either have to have some kind of garage set up or we continue to rent homes. I'm fine either way. Hmm. Anything else I can mention for you dads? If you're into fasting, it's going to throw off your fasting schedule. I forgot how hungry you get when you're when you're doing barbell training. It's it's not the hunger you feel after a three day fast. It's like a deep rooted I could eat the whole fridge <laughs> kind of hunger. Um, I've put my fasting schedule on a break for the first two weeks. This last week I did a twenty four. That was fine. Um, this week I'll probably do a 48, honestly. Thursday and Friday, I'm going into the office, so it, it makes it easy to fast. Um, but, um, give yourself some mercy. If you're in the fasting community, intermittent fasting, you'll do great. It'll be just fine. But if you're into multi-day fasts, take a break, get under that barbell, try it out. Let yourself grow and rest. And my really weak point as a dad, so the kids go to bed, I use the evening to try building my own company. Awesome, that's great for entrepreneurialism. It's terrible for sleep. <laughs> and when you're lifting, you probably want more sleep. Doctors recommend, what, eight hours a night? Ha! Uh, if you look at my, my Fitbit records, uh, I'm not exactly a good sleeper. And that has been a detriment to my health in the past. And I definitely need to work on that. And I've gotten a lot better. And with the lifting, uh, I, I will say, in the last three weeks, I've gotten better at going to bed a little earlier, just sleeping in. The kids wake me up. <laughs> Is that the most masculine way to do it? Should a leader really be woken up by, by his kids rather than setting an alarm and beating up and getting everything going? No, no, I'd much rather be waking up at 5 a.m., get breakfast ready, get the house up and going. But that's not where I am right now. And it's like the, the fasting thing, right? Just take a break for a month. Turn off your alarm for a month. 
assuming you can. I mean, I'm still making all my deadlines and, and delivering on the things that I need to arrive to time-wise, and I, everything's fine in that regard. But I'm trying to fix so many things at once. Sleep schedule, lifting, being a dad, build a company, all these different things, right? So you have to do it piecewise, a little bit at a time. And it's slowly fitting together. Like I was talking about with the, the barbell exercises really helping my mental clarity, helping my mental health, my stress relief, my ability to not get shaken by bad things happening. That's all really good. And that compounds over time. And I'm estimating in the next two weeks, I'll be going to bed by 1030. Whew, that's, that's tough. That's tough. That is prime work time for me. <laughs> but get to bed by 1030, wake up at 5, hunky-dory. And that's, you know, that's over six hours of sleep right there. Hey, <laughs> that's better than my average. So have some mercy for yourself when you get back into it. Enjoy it. Focus on form. The strength will come. And it really has. It really has. Week one, those uh, those 135s were <laughs> 135 pounds on the bar. Pick an exercise. It's 135 pounds. That's what I did. And that was quite a workout. Everyone in the lifting community can look at that and be like, ha, 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 silly little man. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Don't think about that. Think about where you are. Because the next week, it'll be heavier than that. Week three, I was putting up 140. No, <laughs> but seriously, um, it's a process. And it takes time to get to where you want to be. But if you aren't focusing on form and you injure yourself, you're not going to be in the gym the next week. Those 5 by 5s aren't going to complete themselves if you're messed up. And on top of that, you got kids running around. you got to go and play with them and pick them up and throw them around. And right now my son is really into a knights and dragons phase. You know, and I get to be the dragon. I get to be hit by this plastic sword he's got. And it's... It's very fun. And if I throw on my back, I can't do that. These bruises on my arms aren't going to make themselves if I'm on the couch going, Dad can't walk right now. Okay, so go slow, ease into it, and have fun. Mm, more stuff on the way. Have a great day. Stay safe out there. And thanks for watching. Have a good one.